So in this video, I will explore Keystone Jazz, which is currently a community preview. And uh, what is the Keystone Jazz? It is the superpower CMS for developers. So what it does is basically it help us create a nice, beautiful looking um, management UI by just describing the schema. So this is a Node.js um, application behind the hood and it uses uh, Prisma to connect to the database, uh, which is in the version six. So to install, um, to um, start with Keystone, we first need to install Node. So go ahead to node.js.org and download the latest Linux um, version of it if you are running Linux and in, if you're running Windows, you have to uh, find uh, other ways of installing it. Now in my terminal, I have this uh, in a project and um, what you should uh, do first is once you download the Node.js uh, uh, binaries you have here, you kind of, uh, you need this to copy to some folder in your system. What I did is I, I use uh, the copy, which I already did it, but I'm just going to show you. Let's copy this node into the folder opt. And this will basically copy that uh, node version 16.6.1 into the opt folder. And then you go to that folder and you have this uh, uh, file here. So you can uh, unzip it using tar, um, then uh, xf, and the file name. Um, and then this will unzip into a folder, uh, a node, uh, which is uh, an unzip uh, version of it. And once you have done this, the next thing is you need to um, um, add the path to this uh, particular folder. So we have, uh, this is the current uh, folder we are. And let's list it. We can go to the node folder and um, we have uh, this is the present working directory which is the current um, uh, folder we are so next is we need to look at uh, maybe um, adding into our bash so we have a sudo jdit um, bash rc uh, here we go supply your password and then finally you should add it somewhere here Yeah, so this is a bash RC and where is the other one? Um, we add it in the profile. Uh, yeah, so what we can do now is um, edit there and uh, add the bat to the bottom of it. Uh, let me add it here. So I can say export node.js Oh, it's there. So we have um, export Node.js and the folder where our um, Node.js is and the bin folder, which is uh, where our binaries are. And then we uh, attach it to the part so that we have it in our terminal. So this is uh, what you should do. And we save it. And once it's done, you can, um, uh, you know, uh, reopen the terminal or you say a source of using a source uh, command but what i'm going to do is i'm going to close it i'm going to reopen it in my project folder so once we are here to check whether you have successfully installed note you can type note and version i hope it should work i have a version 16.6.1 and also the npm version Yes, I have it here. Next thing is we also need to link this uh, to our, so that we can use um, it using the sudo command later on. So you can uh, use sudo ln to link it to the user bin node. And basically we want to say which node we are currently and then link it to user bin node, right? So this will uh, prompt a password. I've already done this. And um, once this is done, you can also link the NPM binaries, which is which NPM. And once this is done, you are 
good to go with the development. So this is uh, done. And the next step is, so we successfully installed node. Uh, let's look at which node now. So we have user bin, which um, NPM, we have user bin NPM. So this is a good setup and we are good to install the YAN package. So we can go to getting start installation and copy this and paste it here. Oh, we have some permission issue and use the sudo. Yes, we are that yen yen version. Yes, we have yen in our setup in, in our machine. So we are done with our dependencies. We have node, we have um, the yen, and then we can start um, putting projects, right? So we can create a keystone project using yen create keystone app. Hit enter. And this will um, fetch all the dependencies for us. And also it asks what directory should create keystone generate your app into. I'll say um, my app, right? Let's say my app. And what database URL? Okay, this is the problem. We don't have uh, PostgreSQL installed in my machine. So what I will do, I'll do a Google search to install uh, PostgreSQL uh, in Ubuntu. Uh, let's see that. Uh, okay, the next download. Uh, we can uh, do this, right? So we can create a file. Um, yeah, I can just copy this basically. Uh, I can copy the script and we are in the good source. That's PostgreSQL. I am absolutely trust this guy, I guess. So copy script and then uh, we can open a new terminal and run it uh, so what is the problem there okay this is done and then we need to do this okay and we need to update it It will take some time depending on the, your internet speed. And finally, we install the Postgres. Yeah, should be fine. So we are now installing Postgres SQL. Yeah, downloading something and now let's look at uh, included in the distribution so it has the pg admin as well um okay so we have uh, okay so i think we have the pg admin uh, installed once we finish with that i mean i see anyway uh, let's see uh pg admin for um Download the PG admin and we need to install using apt. Uh, we need to do it separately, I guess. Anyway, we can. Uh, we are in this PG admin and run this stuff here. We are done. Copy the second part. something yeah i think it's not the problem here and then we finally install the pg admin yes we need that and uh, no need for pg uh, maybe we can use the web mood
yeah so we have pg admin and um, now we can open it waiting for pg admin 4 to start admin uh, mm. 4 and then the, you'll have this uh, windows and we can create a new server and we can name this as local and we can have the connection to be in the local host and the username to be username uh, pass postgres and the password will also be uh, postgres now there is some problem with my setup before uh, which i could not connect it with this username and um, uh, it's some some problem uh, coming up uh, like this which is um, uh, difficult to, uh, which is happening to me in this machine and what i did is i go to the terminal and then uh, log in uh, as a postgres uh, user ah so um sudo psql i guess yeah so we are here in the postgres sql and then you kind of um, modify the the password of a user postgres so now we can have alter um user postgres and then we set the password uh, to be uh, any password you can give i'll give it as a postgres so this will um oh some problem with my set setup um okay so uh, basically this will um uh, set the password for the user to be postgres now we can go ahead and uh, supply it here and then we can save and now we have um, uh, connected it to the postgres uh, database so we have now a default uh, postgres uh, database maybe you can uh, think about creating a new one maybe uh, we can create a database called um, eastone db and the owner will be the postgres uh, owner uh, user and now we have um, a keystone db so uh, let's go back to the keystone project uh, what database url uh, should we use we basically need to use postgres and the username is postgres the password is also postgres and uh, then um, at uh, localhost we uh, what will be the machine and then the port and then the database name keystone db uh, let me check uh, keystone db okay so this uh, i think this should be fine we have the postgres uh, and then we are saying that the user name is postgres the password is also postgres and the machine is at localhost 5432 uh, keystone db and let's hit enter and we have a check yes we are able to connect to the database and now we are installing dependencies uh, with yarn so this uh, yes this may take a few minutes as it is there in the screen now um so let's uh, see what uh, is this uh, keystone before um, checking what is it you can check uh, have a look at the documentation here which is uh, quite uh, very um, not complete uh, uh, you have only a few of this but we are waiting for more like ss control authentication schema but you have full uh, documentation for apis uh, and other stuff so yeah so so the thing is here that the keystone uh, 6 uses uh, prisma uh, let's look at the github uh, repo and uh, what is the uh, the new things coming up in the keystone 6 so keystone 6 is a new major release uh, which uh, will be um, uh, which which uh, basically trying to be um, the most powerful headless content management system and um, what is the difference between these two uh, let's look at some of the uh, vision um, so this is something else let's okay we are done with that so what uh, what i'm looking at is i'm looking at how um, they design the keystone uh, application using prisma as the middleware layer to communicate to database and prisma is a kind of an orm uh, let's look at prisma 
and uh, Prisma. Uh, Prisma IO, I guess. Yeah, next generation Node.js and TypeScript or M. Basically, you define your schema using a TypeScript and automatically it will uh, generate all the database um, for you. And it uh, it is an object rational mapper. So it's a kind of, uh, if you are coming from the Spring or coming from the Java world, it is kind of hibernate for nodes. And you can uh, do a lot of stuff like querying database and all using uh, in the Prisma. So this is cool. And okay, let's go back to the Keystone and see that we have um, uh, successfully install create the application now to launch the application we can go to cd my app and then hit yarn dev and also there is a next step saying that uh, it did this particular uh, uh, typescript file and then we can um, change uh, the schema or any other stuff so uh, uh, let's uh, see about uh, in a few seconds so now we are up and running with the application so the dev server is ready at localhost 3000 so let's go ahead and check that so there we go so we have keystone is ready and now it asked me for the name welcome to keystone let's say the name is my name and the email address is something like at gmail.com we'll set the password to be some I get started and no need to uh, sign in to the mailing list and we have a nice looking admin UI with user uh, one user 